so what I want to do is basically create, paint, build stuff, make stuff, trick the eye, um, things like that. Okay, what we've got here is a castle wall, and what we did was starting with uh, a skin ply, we attached pieces of fiberboard with uh, contact cement, and then we covered that with cheesecloth. When that was dry, we painted it in various shades of gray and highlighted it to look like stone that would have been uh, around in that period. I'm doing some uh, texturing breakdown of the door so that it doesn't look so new as compared to the actual uh, rest of the set. I am by far the least accomplished and yet I can learn so much with Kevin and Michael's expertise and all the tricks that they've learned over the years. It's just phenomenal. So we lead them through the gridding up of the image, resizing it, drawing it in charcoal, and then they're asked to mix their own colors. We're really giving them what we're expected to do for the theater. So you have your experts that teach you anything you want to know and everything they know. They also give you the opportunity to kind of play with what they've taught you. Uh, one of our students, uh, Charlene, uh, has been given what amounts to a trade test uh, and built into that as a time constraint. As a scenic painter working for the festival or you know in theatre or film, um, those uh, pressures are very real so it's, it's a neat one uh, to uh, allow her to yeah, work with those techniques and then problem solve on the go. When I saw that it was advanced scene painting I thought I gotta, I gotta try it, I gotta stretch myself, I gotta try and keep learning. I can come out of my shell, I can be creative in a free, positive environment. If I could paint scenically for the rest of my life, I think I'd be more than happy. Everybody has a creative bent, and I always say that if you can spread butter on your toast, you're already a painter.